Hello everyone, welcome to the eighth part of my Gary's Mod Lua tutorial series. Today we are going to be discussing hooks. The main purpose of a hook is essentially it allows you to append code into a function that may be in another file or allow you to just basically add extra code to execute whenever a certain function is called. Um, a nice way to visualize this is, for example, if we have the player spawn function and we want in our add-on to access this player spawn function, we want to build upon this I kind of visualize the player spawn function as um, a chain link and right now it's just one some single link and whenever we add a hook we're hooking onto that chain link and we're adding some code that's going to execute it and this can happen over and over and over again so we have a really long um, a bunch of links and so it's going to start at the very top and then it's going to go through all these hooks that were added onto there and then execute that code whenever player spawn is called and this is for every single hook for example players say player death player entity take damage uh, player take damage um, and so we have a lot to work with and this is how we really really get into Gary's mod and developing add-ons for it so today we're going to make some simple chat commands and to do that we're going to need to hook on to whenever the player says something so to do that we're going to go to hooks and play uh sorry wiki.gary'smod.com and we're going to go to hooks and we're going to go to the game mode subcategory and then we're going to scroll down and you can see we have a bunch of players stuff here um so real quick blue means server orange means client and blue and orange means shared so both server and client so those are the realms at which these functions are stored so if I go for player say and click on it, we can see we have the function, it's called player say, and it has three arguments, the center, the text, the team chat. So you can see all the information on that here. Um, and then we can also return a value. Uh, we could set this to an empty string, for example, to stop the text from displaying if you wanted to maybe, I don't know, make uh, some form of censorship in our uh, chat box. So real quick to get started, going to go into our code we are in a server-side realm our server-side portion of our atom because this is a server-side hook so begin the function is hook dot add right it's a function that's that's how this works um, and the first argument of hook dot add we need to hook on to the function that we are trying to append on so in this case it is player say and it is case sensitive if I could type like that then the second argument is unique identifier for the hook. So just think of it as a global variable. This has to be unique. So I'm just going to do my add on and then chat commands. Next is the callback or the function that is going to get executed whenever uh, players say it's called. So it keeps the same, same, excuse me, same argument, sender text team chat. So I'm going to put that in there. Okay. Next, real simple. All we have to do is, um, I don't know, make it print something. So we'll say print uh, something was said in chat. Okay, just to make sure our hook is working. So if I go here and I write D, or actually let me clear this real quick. Um, you see something was said in chat. I write something again. And I can see something was said in chat, something was said in chat, something was said in chat. Okay, so if we want a chat command, right? We don't want this to execute no matter what. So we need to make a condition. And that condition is going to check to see if the text is our chat command. So what we're going to say is if text equals, okay, is equal to, um, and then in here we'll create the identifier for our chat command. So I'm just going to say, um, I don't know, SPH point crowbar, uh, please. Or no, we'll just do crowbar. That's simple. Okay. Followed by then and then end. Okay. And then in here we're going to say print you called the crowbar command okay so now i'm going to save it i'm going to clear this i'm going to just type something random here see nothing was printed into chat or sorry console now if i type crowbar because now it says you called the crowbar command cool so we get it printing but let's actually make it do something so we have this variable here called the sender this is the player object the person that is calling the function um or sorry not the function uh who is making a statement in chat. So we want to call a function on this person and give them a crowbar. So back at uh, wiki.gazemod.com, we're going to go into classes and then we're going to look for something that says player because we have a player object. And here we have a bunch of functions that we can call on the player. 
Uh, the main one that we want to do is give. This allows us to give weapons. So we're going to look for give, and you can see, all right, so we have the player object, the function give, and then the class name of the weapon uh, that we're going to give to the player. So for example, you can see it gives the player a tool gun or gives them uh, a, a weapon base with no ammo in it, um, which we call it. So what we want to do is basically take this concept here and we're going to do sender. So this is our player. Um, and we're going to do give and we'll say do, 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 weapon underscore crowbar. And then we'll actually go ahead and sender chat print you received a crowbar. Okay, save it. Now, if we go in here and we write exclamation point crowbar, boom, I got a crowbar, you received a crowbar. And if I go ahead and just write crowbar again, you can see it says you received a crowbar, even though we already have one. We can make a check to see if the player has one. Um, but right now it's not gonna give us two crowbars because obviously that's not how it works. So there we go, we got a basic chat command by hooking onto the player state. Now we can do this with, like I said, player spawn, player death, player take damage, whatever you want. This gets really, really, really um, complex, but it really allows you to um, work it within the Gary's mod realm of things. So uh, if you guys have any questions, as always, feel free to comment down below. I appreciate it if you guys would like and subscribe. And as always, take care. Thank you very much.